Hello everybody, this is City Scrapper. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. I am extremely excited because I am going to be taking part in Christie's 30 Days of Sketches, and that means a video a day for the month of March. Today is the very first day, and this is sketch number one. The sketch is posted in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. And you can see that this layout requires you to have circular photos. So I took out my old but trusted and true Creative Memories circle cutters and I cut my photos into circles. These photos are from Christmas time. I have just scrapbooked a whole lot of Christmas photos but I was just kind of in the Christmas paper kind of mood, so I was happy to scrapbook some more. They show four circles, and I have three photos, so I'm going to use an embellishment to take the place of that last circle, that smallest one at the bottom. And here I am cutting out some mats for each of the photos. These have been around for a very long time. I don't know if you are familiar with these Creative Memories uh, circle cutters. I'm really making it look like it's hard to do, but these are my favorite cutters. I feel like I've tried many different cutting systems, and this is definitely my favorite. This was one of the first things I bought for scrapbooking, and I like them so much that I bought a second set of circles. There were a lot of other shapes that I really didn't use, but I use those circles still all the time. So for this series, I had have two main goals. My first goal is that I want to try to scrapbook some older photos that I've just been, for whatever reason, kind of avoiding. I have some of the pages in a, in a particular scrapbook scrapped, but then I have other photos that are just kind of hanging out in the page protectors that... I really just want to get them scrapped. So that's my first goal. And the second one is to scrap a layout in a day, not to take more than a day or maybe a day and the next morning or the next afternoon to scrapbook a layout. These are simple layouts. Sometimes I like to spend a lot of time making uh, one layout, but I wanted to try to use the sketches to scrapbook a little more quickly, make decisions quickly, and just get it done. And I feel like sketches are the perfect opportunity to do that because a lot of the thinking is already done for you. For this layout, I'm using the My Mind's Eye Comfort and Joy collection. It's one that I picked up in Tuesday morning, probably last year, I'm thinking, maybe the year before that. Using a black and then a light colored pattern paper with that plaid on it. I just made a bunch of banners just to go along with what's in the sketch. I use that pretty snowflake paper on the top and a solid red on the bottom. I just want to make sure that there's enough contrast between each thing that everything will stand out and nothing will really fade away. So this is the main part of the layout done and now I'm just deciding which embellishments to add because of course you, you have to have a good composition, and that's what the sketch is for. Once you have your good composition, then the details are, in my opinion, what makes it, what really makes the layout shine. Those little extras that you add, how you add them, how you layer them. And you could see that I'm using those four Christmas trees on the bottom to go in that last spot where that last circle is in the sketch. And I'm just trying a whole bunch of different items on the layout trying to see what will look the best with the photos that I have. And I wanted to include a lot of trees so I did pull out a lot of the different things that were trees in the ephemera pack. So I am adding some ribbon across the top. There's a little border there in the sketch and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to use ribbon because I don't use it as much as I would like to, and I do really like ribbon a lot. I think it adds a great additional texture to the page. Part of the ribbon was kind of um, squished, so I cut it because I knew that the ribbon in the middle wouldn't show, and 
that way the part that does show will be nice flat ribbon. You can see I assembled my three photos as one unit and then I popped them up on some of that fun foam or adhesive foam that you could buy in the crafts or the children's craft section. I'm sure many of you are familiar with adhesive foam by now, but just thought I would mention it just in case someone is done. And now I am looking through my embellishments again. As you could see, I pulled out different embellishments than I was using before. I liked that star and you could see that there's stars in the sketch. So I thought that would look perfect right there. And then the title that says joy kind of goes with the star and that's just the perfect spot for the title. I also use the inside of that chipboard star. I had put that you know, to the side, use that as another star. And now I'm going into my stash. I pulled out some poinsettias. I love poinsettias. I collect a lot of them. I'm not sure if those are Prima or another brand, but I thought that those three spots would be a good place for the poinsettias. I'm including some of those trees from the die cut pack and some of those chipboard pieces. There's a um, little banner on the bottom, and I'm sorry, that's a little bit off screen. And there's a pine branch that's right under that photo to the right. I am adding the date on a tag that was in the ephemera pack. It didn't stamp super well. I didn't have a stamp pad handy, so I tried to use a magic marker. You could still read it, but it, it didn't turn out as well as if I had used a stamp pad. Sometimes I scrapbook downstairs in my craft room, and sometimes I want to hang out with my family, so I will scrapbook on the coffee table. And I usually try to pull a complete collection when I do that, so I don't have to keep running up and down the stairs. However, I do end up doing that quite a bit anyway when I scrapbook upstairs, but that's okay. I enjoy hanging out with my husband and my kids. So now I'm gluing some of these things down. I want to commit. I don't want to keep going through all the embellishments and chipboard and not get things done. I feel like this looks good, so I'm just going to go for it and attach it down. And I keep trying to position that white star so that it'll look the way I want it to. It gets moved around quite a bit. And I wanted that little sentiment to contrast with the background and it is going to match right in if I put it down the way it is. So I backed it on a white piece of paper or a whitish piece of paper. And I liked that banner that I'm holding right now, that green banner, but the white border was just a little bit too big. I liked that it had that white border, but I didn't want it to be so thick. So I just went in and just cut a little bit, bit of it off. And you could see I'm popping everything up on that adhesive foam. And then I use my ATG adhesive to stick it down. I feel that it it works. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the adhesive down on the uh, foam with using the ATG gun, but it usually works out so that it sticks pretty well. Okay, so then the next day I decided I didn't like the way that tree that I just removed, it came out to the same place that those trees on the bottom do, and I didn't like that. I wanted there to be some difference if you looked at where the trees ended, you know, your eye would see a different place on the bottom and on the top. It just makes the page more interesting. And now I'm cutting this tree out. I'm just fussy cutting it out from the, I think it was a tag, but I guess it was a tag that it was on. And fussy cutting is not my forte. I'm getting better at it, but I do have to keep practicing. I'm definitely not naturally gifted in fussy cutting. But I really liked that little tree because it was glittery and I like the way that color now is in all three of those tree clusters. I forgot to mention that I added a snowflake to the left hand side of that top photo and I like the way that is the same red and white print as the star and as the title and I like the way that the way it kind of balances the composition. And now I'm going in with some pearls and I'm putting them in the background. There's all those adorable and pretty little snowflakes in the background. So I'm going in with different size pearls 
and sticking them in the middle of some of them, not all of them, but I'm just trying to put like the larger pearls on the larger snowflakes and the smaller pearls on the smaller snowflakes. And I've really gotten a lot of use out of my pearls this season. I feel like I am going adhesive pearl crazy lately. I have been really using up my stash and I think I need some more. I've used so many of them. Sometimes the back will come off the sticky part, so I just use a little glue to fix those down. And now I'm adding some of these sparkly stars. The larger clear ones are from Joanne. The smaller ones, though, I'm not really sure where those came from. But I'm using the clear ones and the red ones. And I feel like they add a nice little touch to the tops of the trees. And that is the layout, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll check out all of the ladies who are scrapbooking along with this challenge. I hope that if you like this video, you'll give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And thank you so much to all of my current subscribers. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.